Hi, I'm Charlotte Lawson, a registered licensed dietitian here in Tampa Bay, Florida. And if you're a diabetic, there's a few things you can do in your diet to help you manage these symptoms. Diet actually is going to be one of the best tools you have to keep your blood sugars consistent. Looking at things that have carbohydrates in them, like our grains and starches, our fruits, and our milks, are all especially important to be aware of. Check your nutrition facts labels. A facts label is going to be on anything that comes in a bag or a box or a package. Go down and check out the amount of carbohydrate per serving. If we can keep 15 grams as our magic number, that's kind of what we consider one exchange for carbohydrate. On average, on about a 2,000 calorie diet, we aim for about three to four carbohydrate choices or exchanges per meal. So again, check that nutrition facts label to see how much you're consuming per portion. It's also important to keep your carbohydrates fairly consistent throughout the day. Again, trying to look for that three to four carbohydrate per meal with maybe a snack in between is a good idea. Also try to choose carbohydrates high in fiber. Fiber helps to slow down the digestion process, therefore causing that sugar to enter our bloodstream at a little bit slower pace. This hopefully will help you avoid those high spikes in your blood sugar levels. Fiber can be found in whole fruits, grains, and fruits and vegetables, again, are high fiber products. So try to look at your nutrition facts label, choose high fiber car carbohydrate choices, aim for about 15 grams per choice, and again, always keeping a well-rounded diet is an excellent idea for just general healthy living. For more information on eating with diabetes, check out eathappy.info. I'm Charlotte, and eat happy.